Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you an update on how you can publish Screencastify videos to your YouTube channel now that Screencastify has a slightly different look as of September 22nd, 2021. So if you are familiar with Screencastify, then you know that any Screencastify video automatically goes into your Google account, but sometimes you might want to upload it to YouTube. The benefit of uploading your Screencastify videos to YouTube over just keeping them in Google or Screencastify is that YouTube always automatically creates and generates closed captions for your videos and even closed captions that can be translated into different languages. So it makes your content more accessible and supports universal design for learning on any video that you want to show your students and you upload. So with that being said, let's go into Screencastify and imagine that I've already made a video and I just want to upload it into YouTube. So to get to my Screencastify video recordings, I'm going to click my little Screencastify extension button at the top. If you don't see it there, just make sure that you've pinned it by clicking the puzzle piece button and then clicking the blue pin button beside Screencastify. All right, and to get to my recordings, I'm recording right now, so that's why it looks a little bit different, but I would click the three line button and click my recordings and then it opens here in another window. All right, so here are some examples of videos that I have that I'd want to maybe upload into my YouTube channel. All right. So other helpful thing to know here before you want to upload videos to YouTube from Screencastify is you need to have a YouTube channel. So technically every BCSE teacher, since you have a Google account, you can have a YouTube channel generated for you off of your BCSE Google account. It's a one-time setup. And what you would do is go to YouTube, you would sign into YouTube, and then you would click your channel and walk through the steps to create your YouTube channel. You can even customize it so that Anytime you do an upload, it's automatically set to publish it a certain way, whether it's unlisted or public. And you can also set it up to where it's automatically never going to show any ads or recommended videos that might cause distractions for your students. That's a whole separate other video, but for right now, we're just going to imagine that we've already set up our YouTube channel here. So I'm gonna click my Screencastify recordings button, and then I'm gonna go to a video that I want to publish onto YouTube, all right? It's probably gonna start playing. We don't need to listen to me twice. So if this is the video that I want to upload into YouTube, I need to make sure that I give it a title, first of all. If I need to edit that, I can do any editing up here. Here's just some of those other new features on Screencastify. But if I scroll further down the page, it used to just be a share button at the top that you could upload it to YouTube, but now it's a little bit further down and I'm going to click export video. All right, and then once I get to the export video options, I see the option to export it to YouTube. So if I click export to YouTube, let me move myself here, it's gonna open a new window and this is where you'll need to pair your Google account if you don't have one paired already with your YouTube channel with your Screencastify. So this is where I would sync any YouTube channels that I want. You can have multiple like what I have right here. I have a couple that I post things to, so I have them all linked right there. All right, so I've uploaded my YouTube channel there. I have it all set. And then I need to determine how I want this to be viewed. Private means only I can view it. Unlisted means that anyone with the link can view it. So if you give your students a link, they should be able to see it. Public means that anyone can find and view the video as well. So I can set it to whatever I would like it to be. I can add my description here and then I'll just click upload. It does take it a little bit to upload here on the Screencastify side of things, and it will take some additional time for it to process in YouTube. Once it's finished, I get a confirmation message here, and it says I can view it on YouTube or I can copy the link. So you can copy this link and share it with your students. If you wanted to view this on YouTube, so if you wanted to make any other changes or if you forgot to add something to the description, if I click view on YouTube, then it will show me this video and it, yes, likely it is still processing. It takes some time for it to even upload into YouTube after you've gotten the confirmation message from Screencastify. So if I am looking here, I can scroll further down and click edit video. And this is where I can configure any additional video settings if I wanted to, like I always set mine to where it's made for kids because my videos could be watched by kids. Um, and that makes sure that there's no comments that can be added to your video or distracting ads. So I recommend turning that on for your videos. You can change anything else you need there. But that is how you can upload any video from Screencastify to YouTube with the new export button versus the old share button on Screencastify. So I hope you find this video helpful and stay tuned for more of the new Screencastify updates and video tutorials and how to leverage those updates to help your students.